What are you working on? If someone were to see what you're doing in training, could they answer that question? Can you answer that question without having to explain yourself? In my last video, I talked about crawling. And in a lot of ways, I don't really know what you're working on by crawling. Crawling does train a lot of things, but really it's just general athletic activity. And just saying that it's general athletic activity is a better justification than saying you're improving contralateral coordination. And does that even matter? Does improving contralateral coordination improve the quality of your life? And is crawling a strong enough stimulus to even significantly improve that anyways? The more specific that you have to be to answer the question of what are you working on, I think the less likely that you're actually achieving whatever that is and the less important that that thing is. If you're lifting weights, it's pretty safe to say that you're trying to get stronger or to put on muscle. There's no rationalization to be made there. If you're running sprints, it's pretty obvious that you're trying to get faster. If you're doing longer distance runs or bike intervals, it's pretty obvious that you're trying to improve your aerobic fitness. There's a lot of examples here, but what if you're doing an overhead carry? What you'll often hear is the purpose to an overhead carry is to improve shoulder stability and core stability simultaneously. Simultaneously they develop shoulder stability and core stability which is basically control over your lumbar spine, your lower back. But aren't you just getting stronger? And aren't those things synonymous? Or think of the rationalizations for a hanging leg raise. I've heard that a hanging leg raise trains your motor control of your pelvic floor. Again, that's just a rationalization. It sounds good, but you're just strengthening the abs. You don't need to train motor control of your pelvic floor. Again, that's just majoring in the minors. And think about how many different ways you can justify back squatting. You could say that improves core stability. You can talk about all the agonist and antagonist and synergist muscles that aid with the movement. You could come up with all source of rationalizations, but really when it comes down to it, you do it to get stronger. So if you can simply state why you're doing something, then it is probably worth your time. But if you have to get really specific and explain how what you're doing is actually doing what you claim it's doing, then it really might not be worth your time.